y'all, this is Dave Korsunski from Heads Up Health, and we're at Low Carb San Diego 2018. One of my favorite events, San Diego, summertime, beautiful weather, on the ocean, amazing speakers, really cool startups here, bringing incredible products to market. We're gonna interview as many people as we can, and we'll share it all for you on the YouTube channel. Check it out. kick it when we interview. Uh, we just like to chill. Lounge. Yeah. Uh, we got some champagne on order. Yeah, exactly. Like fans some are strawberries. Uh, low carb San Diego. Yes. Nations everywhere, as usual. That's why this voice is doing this now. Yeah. Sounds like a 14 year old pubescent boy, so apologies. Well, let's keep it short and sweet. Okay. Tell us about how you use the genomic data on keto. Deep topic to hit you with on a Sunday. <laughs> you introduced it on the podcast. But nobody is making those connections except your massive brain. So tell us what that even means and just give us a couple examples of how you look at that nutrition genome report yeah. and tweak keto. Okay. So, of course, I look at a lot of things. That's why I'm using Heads Up Health yep. because you guys help me bring all the data pieces together so we can see what's going on. But when I have clients who theoretically should be responding in a particular way, like they should be getting into ketosis easier, they should be seeing their inflammatory markers coming down, what I start to find is that that usually points to an epigenetic pickup. So uh, a, a situation where they have a gene expression that was passed down from generations that may make things more challenging to be metabolically flexible. And so there's a couple specific SNPs, these single nucleotide, single nucleotide polymorphisms that we actually start to then screen for to see if that might be what's preventing them to achieving the optimal health they are so Give us one concrete example. Sure. One concrete example is the PEMT SNP is a SNP about choline, okay? And choline is all about our, our cell wall flexibility. And if you have a rigid cell wall and you have a PEMT SNP, you are likely not getting the fat to cross that cell wall into the mitochondria to get that engine humming along in a good state of metabolic flexibility. And then you would? Then I would put them on a supplement of, of choline, of choline, also known as lecithin. I would like to look for a sunflower base, not a soy base, but that can help make those walls more flexible and open to taking in the fat in a more efficient way. And then you know it's working when you see what? When you see blood ketones go up. So a genetic SNP, which comes from the genetic data, we prescribe something and then you can see if it's working in the blood work. That is awesome stuff. We're going to do a lot more work like that. So anyhow, uh, we're going to go back to our champagne. Uh, <laughs> Gluten-free and keto-friendly, of course. Yeah. No. Later, people. <laughs>